The Freetown State Forest, nicknamed the Blood Forest, is home to some of the most gruesome, haunted activity-ridden events in the history of Massachusetts. From murder to conspiracy theories come to life, and everything in between. The Freetown State Forest has been voted the most haunted and dangerous forest in all of Massachusetts for the past five years. Some events that have occurred within the forest are murder, suicide, and kidnapping, all on multiple accounts, as well as paranormal activity, such as demonic creatures lurking the forest in search of energy to feed off of. Yes, my name is Robert Dorsey, D-O-R-S-E-Y. I think the worst experience I've seen was the um, finding of the body of Mary Lou Arruda, who was 15 at the time, and she was abducted from uh, her home, or right outside of her home almost, mm -hmm. in Raynham. And um, this, this poor little girl was tied to a tree, and... Um, almost decapitated. The history of the Freetown State Forest dates back many years to when it was a Native American land owned by tribes. Years ago, the government began building on the reservation, basically kicking the Native Americans out of their homes. As a result, the Native Americans placed a curse upon the grounds by which they were built on, haunting anyone who entered their territory. It is legends such as these that shape the Freetown State Forests, as well as the Bridgewater Triangle's reputation. We confirmed suicides jumping from the top of that ledge. And you guys are, feel free to go up there, like I said, it's a hazardous road. Um, but what's kind of more frightening than the fact that people have actually uh, committed suicide is the fact that people have survived uh, an ordeal of being suicidal at the Sonnet Ledge and described being instantly taken over by this feeling of grief and this feeling of despair. I've interviewed people who have actually physically been stopped uh, from jumping off. On a particular occasion there were several of us and we were wandering around um, out in the woods on the edge of the swamp and we saw something that, that looked like a ghost uh, and there were a couple of kids that were with us. They didn't believe in the paranormal. They just sort of went along with us just to have fun and it, it started off where it looked almost like this tiny little blob of light just floating above the ground and then, and then it started to stretch and, and kind of take shape with arms and legs and it looked like it was forming uh, the shape of a person just hovering above the ground and then we all sat there watching and... It is said in popular belief that the Freetown State Forest has a soul of its own. What was once used as a peaceful and spiritual home to so many has now become a haunted ground for the suffering souls of the past.